Just six miles off the Atlantic coast in Florida Keys, a view to behold, a 300,000-year-old coral reef that to the untrained eye appears to be thriving. Dr. Brian LaPointe, a research scientist at Florida Atlantic University, studied this reef for the last 30 years. We went diving to see the devastation firsthand. How sad are you when you see what the coral looks like today versus 30 years ago? Side-by-side -side views charted over the last three decades best show the decline. This looks beautiful to me. What did it used to look like? Well, it used to be covered with Elkhorn coral that came right up to the surface. Breaking the surface, you can yeah, see it. These are beautiful brown branching corals. Over 95% of that coral is gone. Why is this happening? For years, scientists thought it was simply warming ocean waters and unusually high levels of salinity, a combination it was believed that weakened corals and made them susceptible to deadly diseases. The temperature looks to be about 30.6 degrees C. But LaPointe found multiple years with lower water temperatures and no significant fluctuations in salinity, yet corals were still dying. He zeroed in on a deeper layer of climate change, nitrogen. In lab tests, water with nitrogen turns green, absent nitrogen, yellow. What we have found is that it's a little more complicated than just temperature alone. Uh, the planet is warming, but it's also simultaneously being enriched with reactive nitrogen. Nitrogen that comes in part from what's driving climate change, fossil fuels. Nitrogen also from agricultural runoff, and in untreated wastewater. Like all science, it's complicated. It's complicated. What's not complicated is what is visible down below. This is the last Elkhorn coral here. And scientists say growing back what was once here, if even possible, would take another 300,000 years. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Lou Key, Florida.